We've got temperatures across the area in the 90s over the next several days, even some 100s as well. An excessive heat warning that goes until Saturday evening. This is as the heat index will be nearing 110 degrees later in the week. Skies are mostly clear, had some clouds pass through earlier this morning. All of that has pushed on through. And now with a clear sky, we've got humid conditions for tonight and warm conditions as well. That heat wave ahead kind of entering into it. Technically, we're under the heat warning today, but didn't meet the level of that. We didn't expect it. We talked about that yesterday. It's just starting the process of it. Really and truly tomorrow kicks it off. And then those storm chances hold off until this weekend. But that'll come along with the break in the heat that we're going to be certainly looking forward to by that point. In Manhattan, as well as Junction City, very hot, but also very sunny weather once again for today. In Topeka, 93 degrees, but the heat index is 99 with a dew point around 70 degrees. 93 has been the high so far today after a morning low in the low 70s. Tomorrow morning, we should be in the mid 70s to start as there's a slightly stronger south wind. Now, it will relax a little bit tonight and likely tomorrow come up to about 10 miles per hour. Not quite as breezy, but it will have at least somewhat of a wind over the next few days, and every little bit of that will help, help stir things up and kind of provide a fan-like blowing of that wind during the heat of the afternoons. Low 90s east, middle to upper 90s west, 98 right now at Manhattan, 97 for Clay Center. You factor in the humidity, and again, the western counties hottest with lower to mid 100 heat index, upper 90s to around 100 over the eastern counties. Now, that is right now with the heat index or the humidity level generally the same everywhere, upper 60s and low 70s for the dew point. That's going to be the concern is that number may come up a little bit. Notice this on future track, looking for these darker shades of green where it's going to be more humid, and that is most certainly going to be the eastern half of the area tomorrow. Hotter but drier across the western counties, and then we head into Thursday. Same typical setup. Everyone's humid in the morning, but the heat index will be, or at least the humidity will be highest east, and the humidity will be driest to the west, but the temperatures will be higher. So we, again, very typical setup, hotter west, more humid east and it all basically washes out in the end of very hot weather as most of the area will be muggy all the way through Saturday. Looking for maybe some relief later in the weekend or early next week. But until then, look at this on the future track heat index. Tomorrow afternoon, 103 to 106. So definitely higher than today, most areas. Thursday, perhaps even higher, 106 to 108 or even 109 for the heat index by Thursday afternoon. For tonight, we drop back to a low, uh, I should say, into the mid-70s for tomorrow morning. The heat wave out ahead of us, your seven-day forecast, 75 in the morning. That should be the low, 97. Just a slight chance of any pop-up shower during the course of the day. I think most areas will not see that. Up north is the only chance. Then after that, we really settle in with the upper 90s and low 100s through Saturday. Starting up Saturday evening, but a better chance Sunday and Monday for some scattered showers and storms. And there will be a break in the heat. By the time we're into Monday and Tuesday, highs should be back into the upper 80s and lows in the upper 60s. So, again, there's relief in sight. We're just not quite there yet. Here's a look at this morning with some of those high, thin clouds. You look right in the middle of that little, what looks like a little chunk of a rainbow there. There's a sun dog. Uh, that's from Karen Stadler in Topeka this morning. Hey, I always like when you do that because it teaches us something new. That's right. Yeah. Now I can now point you, to it and say, that's a sun dog. That's right. You can you know, win a, a conversation at the Thanksgiving dinner table. <laughs> I know what that is. <laughs>